Hey everybody, we are back today with Brandy of Brandy Burrow Astrology. We're going to be looking at the at the forensic astrology, the criminal astrology surrounding the Springfield Three. Um, this this is a case that was actually somebody in the last video that that I put up that we did um, mentioned that they wanted us to look at this. Um, yeah, and, th and this is a very interesting case. It's it's three women that went missing: uh, Susie Streeter, Stacy McCall, and Cheryl Levitt. They went missing on June seventh of nineteen ninety two in Springfield, Missouri. And this case is, I mean, this case is is huh, not only is it bizarre, but there's there's not a lot of evidence in this case. Um, it's almost like they just vanished, <laughs> literally vanished. Um, obviously they didn't, but that's kind of what this seems like. There are a lot of suspects. Um, and I, I guess I should put it in quotes because a lot of these people aren't actually suspect suspects, but through like, you know, hearsay and whatever they are kind of suspected. Um, but there aren't actual any firm suspects that law enforcement has. Um, and essentially what can be what's known about this case is, is uh, Susie Streeter and Stacey McCall, they graduated, um, they graduated high school on June 6th. And they were gonna, they were going to go to a water park the next day in Branson. I believe it was Branson. And they were gonna spend the night in Branson. Then at the, they decided that they weren't going to spend the night in Branson. Then they were gonna spend the night with a friend of, a friend of theirs, and then that fell through too. So then they ended up staying at uh, at Susie's house. Um, they ended up staying there, and Cheryl Lovett uh, is is Susie's mother. That's how she comes into play here. Um, so they weren't really. So there's there, there's this whole <laughs> there's this whole thing with that. Um, and then the next morning, the friend that they were gonna spend the night with uh goes to the house to see if they're ready to go to this water park goes into the house notices nobody is there but their purses are there all of their purses are there um the money is in the purses it doesn't look like anything has been taken uh their cigarettes are still there they th this jewelry. is this jewelry yeah y yeah and and they and I, I i bring up the thing about the cigarettes because the people have mentioned that these people smoked a lot, like they wouldn't have left without cigarettes. It's kind yeah, of, you the know. mom and daughter both smoked and smokers don't leave without their cigarettes. They just yeah, no, yeah, yeah. So, so the, the, yeah, so that's it. So the last time that, the last time that the girls were seen was around 2 a.m. on June 7th, leaving the friend's house. Um, The last time Cheryl Levitt who is Susie's mother was heard from was at 11 15 PM on June 6th. Uh, she was talking to a friend about painting a piece of furniture. I believe, I believe it was, it was something like that. Um, and then they are found to be missing around 9 AM on the 7th. When the friend yes. who was picking them up or finding out where they were, cause they're supposed to go to the water park, went to the house. Yes. And, um, that that part is interesting um, because, of course, she goes to the door. Her boyfriend's with her. No one answers. And so she opens the door. The door is unlocked and she goes in. And the meanwhile, the front porch, light, light the globe was broken. Into but pieces, not the light. But not the light bulb. And the boyfriend, you know, just trying to be kind and ensure everyone's safety goes and sweeps up the broken yeah. glass so you know at crime scenes now contaminated if it's a crime scene sounds like it is yeah oh and another sort I mean even just them going into the even and I and, and you know I, I from what I've read like on different forums and stuff this was I mean I was little I was little when this happened but it sounds like it was pretty common like if you knew the person well you <laughs> just kind of walking in if you and if, you know there wasn't because I've heard I read people on like reddit why'd they just walk into the house you know yeah. but other people are saying I grew up at that time I was that age at that time if you knew some that's just kind of what people did you know yeah times have changed um yes times have throughout, changed. yeah throughout the time 
I, I guess 9 a.m. that day until the time police arrived, they said maybe 15 to 20 people had walked into that house looking for them. You know, what are yes. the girl's parents? Yes. The friends. Uh, Stacy's mom, Stacy's, yeah. Stacy's mom actually. She now this part, this part I do think is kind of kind of weird going through and listening to, to messages on the answer. Yeah. That that I, I get looking for her daughter. I don't know why she's listening to messages, but whatever, whatever. Ends, I think some get deleted or something, some something like that. I'm trying to remember how answering machines work because this would have been an answering machine. Yeah, yeah. She she's worried, like her daughter should should have been home way before yeah you know purses are there clothing's there cars are there this is weird and so i guess she sees a message on the machine plays it and then inadvertently deletes it so i don't know if it was like you had to save it yeah or if it automatically deleted but police were saying that could have been a clue to what happened i don't i wasn't clear on what the content of the message was though Neither am I. And they've never really said the one thing they have said, though, about phone calls is that earlier that day when the friend was there, the friend and her boyfriend. There was a phone call at the house that was some fucking asshole making lewd whatever over the phone. I don't know if that ties it all to this. I, I don't know. Um, it could have just been a random coincidence, you know, but um I don't know. Maybe they thought that it somehow tied to that. I, I'm not sure. <laughs> yeah. Lots of weirdness. Yes. Lots of weirdness. Yeah. The, this. Yes. Um. Should we look at the um? Should we look at the last since like go in order of the time? Do you want to look at the last heard from or the last time the mom was heard from? Sure. Or would you, is there another one you'd want to start with? Um. Let's just start with looking at that one. Um. That's okay. the last time mom is heard from. Um. Is it Sherry Levitt? Yeah, Cheryl Levitt. Uh-huh. Cheryl, yes. Okay. I want to make sure I had that one. I had that one up. I'm ready to go. Yes. Saturn roll chart. Can you see it okay? I can see it great. Okay. Yeah. We have um, yeah, we have the the ascendant in Capricorn. And then we have um we have Saturn in the first, which can show you know, the, the, the victim or missing person, um, like in their own element. In their home on their turf. Yeah. Now the moon, um, usually is a co-ruler, but in this mm -hmm. case, we have the Capricorn ascendant, the descendant is going to be in cancer, which it is. So we have to assign the moon to the possible perpetrator. Mm -hmm. Here, it makes me think that this person is also on their own turf at this. Yeah. Like they haven't made contact yet. Um, yeah, everybody's in their own homes or in their own places at this time. Mm -hmm. But that's, you know, that that moon has just left the eighth house. Mm -hmm. So to me, that's a little interesting. Like maybe things are starting to set in motion, although I think it's kind of early, um, a few hours before anything happens. Yeah. 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 I do. I do too. But it, yeah, that definitely caught my attention with them both like kind of being in their own, wherever their own places, their own, you know. Yeah. Uh, I find the fifth house interesting because I mean, usually fifth house is, is children or smaller children. However, her daughter went missing along with the daughter's friend. So I kind of think that that stellium going on in the fifth house on this chart is something to be looked at or is significant. Yeah, I think it, yeah, I think it, I think it could be. Um, I think it definitely could be. Of course, she's also on the phone talking about painting an armoire or mm -hmm. like furniture. This could just be reflecting that too, because we got Mercury in that house conversation and she's talking about doing something creative and kind of artsy. Yeah, it might just be a, a reflection of the conversation. It could be. And just kind of like, you know, enjoying herself fifth yeah. house you know enjoyment now the mars is interesting in the third house yes because yes. we know something did happen to him later looking back on this um third house you know hmm. 
this could be something going on in the neighborhood i you know or in a car um yeah so, something's brewing there even more so with the pluto also with pluto right there on the on the on the midheaven yeah and yeah yeah it, it definitely does it while they're not like they haven't met up yet they're yeah they're still in their own places there is something um coming about yes which makes me think kind of early on in the discussion but I, it makes me think this is not a random thing there there might be some planning going on here especially with the moon and virgo yeah i don't think it's i don't yeah i don't think this is random either um because that, that, that you know that is some of the some of the theories that people people do have and they're not bad i mean there really aren't any bad theories because nobody really you know knows but but some of them are like more random <clears throat> random kinds of uh attacks and i don't feel like this is either yeah um, i don't i don't think it is what do yeah, you so um it's a planning sign you know what i mean it's not yeah. Yeah. So just the fact that the perpetrator is is in a sign of planning and thinking and yeah. Yeah. What do you make of the interceptions? Like Saturn being intercepted in Aquarius. Yeah, this early looking at this chart, and this is the first timestamp we have. To me, it's just like, you know, I, I don't know how far I want to go with this, but like, I, I almost wonder if Cheryl feels something or mm. something's weird or something weird happened in the day. It, it's yeah. because you know, the interception's kind of hidden. Yeah. I think that's possible. Totally. Yeah. Yeah, that seems, uh, that seems very possible. And you have a planet like Saturn that is cautious, you yeah. know, intercepted. Maybe, and, and it's no one's fault when a crime happens. I want to be clear about that. But it makes me wonder if it's like there there was some, maybe not being cautious enough, not keeping doors locked, not. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe. That does, that does seem possible. Yeah. What's your thoughts on that interception? Well, this is okay. Uh, this is one, one. Well, I don't. Okay, so we have this intercepted here. We have this intercepted here, right? And then we've got this in the fifth. Mm -hmm. I don't know. There's a part, part of me that wonders if maybe Cheryl had a. Had a friend of some kind. Um, had a uh, like a. I can't think romantic of a better interest. Word. A what? Uh, oh, like a romantic interest. Yeah, I was gonna. I was. That's a better. Word. I was gonna say booty call. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you know, no, uh, no. Uh, you know, no, no judgment for me or you know whatever. But I don't know. Um, now, from what I've read, she. You mentioned you know saying that she was private. Um, that's what her coworker with that. said. Her coworker said she was a great employee, yeah. really good work ethic, but very private. I guess she didn't share a lot of personal stuff at work. Yeah. And I, yeah, I mean, the, yeah, there's, yeah, there's, there's absolutely nothing, nothing wrong with that. It just, it kind of leaves it to where there's like, I don't know. I, I did read that she had recent, somewhat recently gotten divorced, I believe. About, it was in 1989. She got divorced in the seventies and again in 1989. So so not this super recent. Been about three years. Not okay. So not super recent. Okay. I th for some reason, I thought it was a little bit more recent than that. Um, yeah, I don't know. There's a part of me that does wonder if I don't know. There was something, some kind of friend that maybe or romantic interest that maybe I don't know. Nobody knew about because she was more private. I don't know. Yeah. Um, especially with like these things, you know. I don't know all that going on yeah know. she would look at the at the um at the 2 a.m one i like the 2 a.m one i think okay. that's a kind of the what you would call the birth of a crime okay 
because this is you got three people missing and this is the last time two of them are seen okay um, and this is when they leave their friend's house because i guess they went they were going to spend the night at the friend's house the friend's house had way too many people there so they yeah. decided to go back to um streeter susie susie streeter's house yes yeah yeah and this one has a pisces on the ascendant you got that double bodied sign so we got multiple victims here mm -hmm. um you know that would then place mercury in the third house as a perpetrator mm -hmm. now here's what to me is interesting you have the chart ruler who are the victims jupiter and the moon which is going to be their co-ruler here in the sixth house which could feel we're saying like uh watchy voyeuristic someone's watching or that that's what i take from this someone's watching you know if you have a stalker it would show up here i don't know if they're being stalked but they're being watched i think mm -hmm. yeah i get yeah, yeah i can then, totally yeah. yeah and then mercury there in the third house in gemini i think someone's watching from a car possibly maybe following them home i but there's a there's a few theories and that that would not fit with some of them but yeah i think that that's totally totally possible what totally disturbs possible. me about this chart is pluto in the home sign you know scorpio during those years um but in the eighth house and then you got the strong mars mars in the home sign of aries in the first house yes um, that is that that is the yeah, yeah that particular uh thing when i saw that i was like ooh scary mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah the, those are some, you know, especially when you're looking at a crime, those are some brutal, violent planets in the most potent signs for those planets. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So it's, it's, yeah, not, not looking good by any means. No. <laughs> no. I also don't like that south node right there in the fourth. Yeah, I don't particularly like that either. <laughs> things kind of spiraling um, down. Wait, I'm sorry, what? Oh, things spiraling down in the in the fourth house of endings. Yeah. Yeah, it doesn't. Um, yeah, this chart doesn't feel nice. Also, another thing, if you go with rulerships from the from the previous one, like that that Saturn in the twelfth, also. Um, kind of also I don't like that either <laughs> no no and if if we can look at one theory so like I said there's not really suspects but some people being looked at mm -hmm. Susie Streeter's ex-boyfriend was involved with a crime at the time like really disgusting crime him yes. and his friends broke into a mausoleum and we're stealing gold fillings out of skull, you know, skulls and deceased yeah. bodies. Yeah. Disgusting. Yeah. And is. so Susie Streeter kind of gets pulled into this mess and supposedly was going to be a witness for the prosecution. Yes. One thing going on in this chart, if we're looking at, hey, is that theory viable? Is that Libra intercepted? in the seventh house you know libra is where we find things like judgment and mm -hmm. the law legal i don't know i i wonder you know and then mm -hmm. um the perpetrator being like mercury you know kind of a young man maybe right there with venus and in, in that house kind of a wide orb but i don't know maybe yeah yeah i could i could see how that yeah i could definitely see how that could that could be the case yeah and he was involved with motorcycle gangs and which him being involved from what i understand being involved in that motorcycle gang kind of brought in other possible suspects that were involved with the gang yeah like yeah there were also i think uh yeah like uh no, people were people were wondering like if these if these if it was them if they actually did it or did they have somebody did they like outsource it kind of, or, or, you know what I mean? Or send somebody yeah. else to do it, or did they just kind of take care of it on their own without, you know, being asked? Yeah. 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 
lots of questions there. Should we uh should we take a look at the um at the 9 a.m. chart? Sure. And this would be when the friend comes over saying, Hey, where are you guys at? We're supposed to go to the water park. Yes. <laughs> and yes. Let's herself in. Yeah. <laughs> Yes. Okay. So this is the note. This is when they were noticed missing June 7th, 1992 at 9am or around 9am. Now, the, the first thing I, I noticed in, is in, in this chart, you've got the cancer rising at 2729. And then in that other chart, let me show you. It's flipped. Like the, the yeah. descendant here is 27 cancer, 33, and then the ascendant is 27, 33. And then I thought that was interesting that they were like, I mean, damn near exact. Yeah. Lit. Um A mirror chart, <laughs> you know, the, the chart's now mirrored. And um, yeah, it, it is. Um, it, you know, in, in this chart, we now have Pluto in that fourth house of endings. Yeah. Yeah. Um, if you want to look at the previous um, chart ruler from the 2 a.m. chart, which this chart, you would follow the moon still. So it's pretty similar. You got the same kind of rulers going on, but they're now in the second house. Which you see with abduction. Yeah. Right like, yeah, that's when I, yeah, when I saw this one, that's kind of what what I was what I was thinking. Me. Yeah. It definitely lines up with them being taken. Yeah. And then Saturn has just moved in the seventh house from the eighth. Um, you know, and I don't know if it matters. I, I think by this point, they're probably, um, probably dead, I think. Yeah. Yeah, probably so. Yeah. We don't know. I mean, this is a cold case. Um, we don't know their outcome, but, you know, I think it's probably, it, they were declared dead. I know Susie Streeter and, and the mom were both declared dead about five years later for legal reasons, um, but are still part of the missing persons database. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I mean, I think as, as, as hard they, yeah, I mean, I, there was probably no, no issue with them making that call really. Cause I don't, yeah. Um, trying to see if there was anything else that really caught my attention about this particular chart. You mentioned Pluto in the fourth. That definitely did. Yeah, this time, you know, you have the fourth house, which is the actual home in Libra, you know, ruled by Venus in the 11th. You know, mm -hmm. I think it's reflective of people kind of coming over. Kind yeah, of, you know, kind of going through the house. It, it even could be about the boyfriend cleaning up glass because you know Libra likes things aesthetically pleasing. You know? <laughs> it could be, yeah. It really could yeah. be. Yeah. Yeah, I, I I think really from from the charts we've seen, the astrology is definitely like okay. Yeah, yeah, something violent has probably happened to these people with the whole Mars and Pluto. Um, and yeah. this, this chart's telling us abduction. So uh -huh. that would rule out anyone leaving on their free will, but the cars were all there and all their belongings were there. So I think we know that anyway, but interesting thing about the cars. Yeah, I was gonna, is, I was gonna yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, it was said that like Susie Streeter had parked in kind of an odd spot and not her usual parking space. And then um, Stacy had also driven herself as well but they think because Susie parked in a different spot that maybe some other car was in the driveway taking mm -hmm. her spot yeah and and it, that that very well could be could be the case um it's also I mean I think that that's very possible it also could be a a somewhat intoxicated person try you know driving there you know this is also yeah. possible too um you know, it's graduation night. I'm sure there was, you know, <laughs> you know, um, but yeah, there could be, it could be something to it, or it could be just simple explanation. Who knows? You know, maybe she had a reason. 
Yeah. Or, yeah. But I, <clears throat> I, I don't, I would not rule it out though, as, as being impossible. It definitely does seem possible that somebody could have, to me anyway, yeah. somebody could have been there. And are you able to go back to that 2 a.m. chart? Yeah. I just kind of thought about something with the case. Okay. Um, thank you. Yeah. So yeah. it was reported about a green, like a moss green van. Yes. In the neighborhood around that time. And someone else in the neighborhood, I believe, with, claims to have seen Susie driving that van looking very scared. Yes. In this chart, you do have the perpetrator in the sign of like Mercury in Gemini mm -hmm. in the third house. So we got car, we got a young person, we got cars, we got neighborhood. That that claim might be valid. What time did they did they see that? I don't think there was ever a specific time. I think they okay. said after the 2 a.m. Okay. So just sometime between. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I, I don't know if I ever saw an actual time on it. Um, I don't remember we looking for this van for quite a while. That was didn't really they actually. Lead. Didn't they actually have a model of the van like sitting out in front of the police station or something? Yeah, I read. Yeah. I read about that. That's kind of different. <laughs> yeah, they kind of put all their efforts and resources into the whole van thing. Which yes. you know, I'm looking at this lovely rulership book. <laughs> <laughs> and there's a sage green listed under saturn okay <laughs> sorry <laughs> <laughs> and so i wonder because we see saturn so strong in that 11 15 chart mm -hmm. i don't know maybe maybe that yeah i mean i figure <clears throat> I, I mean, with the car thing, like I was, I thought that was interesting that they like actually had a model of it or whatever in front of the police station or wherever it was. So I kind of get the feeling that maybe there was even more to this that they just didn't share. Like, you, do you know what I mean? To like, yeah. I mean, I would think anyway, maybe with so many read, because it does seem like they kind of put all their eggs in that basket or a lot of their eggs in that basket. Um, Maybe yes. there's more to it than the public really like knew. Maybe. I think that's right. And I do know when they interviewed some of the members of the motorcycle gang, a lot of that information, um, it's an under gag order or something like it, it, it was sealed. And so, yes. and that's never <laughs> been let out. And so some people are saying, well, Hey, if there's no credibility to it, why not release the information? There's gotta be some reason they're keeping the information under wraps. Yes. Yeah. I, I would think there would have, have to be, um, and that might be why we see interceptions going on so much too. Could be. Yeah. Uh, things not completely able to come out for one reason or another. What, you know? Yeah. Should we look at the map? Yes. Okay. So let me, hold on. I got a bunch of bullshit up here. Hold on. <laughs> okay, map. Hold on. Okay. So if any, let me just say this real quick. If anybody works for scribble maps that happens to uh, be watching this. I really wish that y'all would make your program a little bit more user friendly. It's, I, I don't know how many times I have to start over on scribble maps because I screw something up and I can't figure out how to, to get it off. Yes. And it's also very hard to do the line, you know, it's like, cause you're wanting to get it just on like dead ass on, but you can't do it if you're too far. I don't know. I'll quit bitching yeah. about that. But yeah, if anybody was, if anybody happens to work for scribble maps, I, I wish y'all would like, Make it more user friendly. Yeah. <laughs> Get Ellie and Brandy friendly, please. <laughs> okay, so let me explain this for like, okay, like like we'll be real with you. The, the radius part is a little bit of a mystery. <laughs> the, the the radius, uh it, so what I did here is I is I took the radius of um the the missing the last chart the the 9 a.m chart i took the radius of the ascendant for that 27 degrees because it's actually 27 degrees cancer so 27 degrees here and then i extended it out to um 117 degrees because if you turn 27 cancer to the 360 zodiac you'll end up with uh 117 so that's why we have two circles here 
um, I just wanted to <laughs> kind of mention why that why I've got that going on. Now, okay, this was the house. This was their house, right? This was their house, right? Yes. Yes. Okay. This is the house. Um, this was the address where they were where they were taken from. <clears throat> now, since there aren't a lot of places that are already like known to to look, there was one though. Brandy and I were talking about this one that 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 has been mentioned. Mm -hmm. It was a, I believe, a psychic who uh I don't know if they I don't know if the psychic told the family or told police, told somebody that they need to look under a parking garage at a hospital under the, the under the concrete of this parking garage now somebody did some kind of something i don't know what it is but they were looking for like bodies you know, like radar or like that radar radar wave <laughs> where they can go over the the foundation and yes. see has it been disturbed or yeah you're much better with words <laughs> <I'm> like, <laughs> I don't know if that was articulate but basically <laughs> they go over it and they find three anomalies that looks like three places that were cut out in the ground two um parallel and then one perpendicular that would have fit three bodies like each yeah. space was about the size that you could bury a body yes but since the claim came from a psychic and not someone <laughs> who would have known about this they said it would have been very expensive to demolish that to look into it without really knowing and so it was decided not to investigate further um no, yes yes yeah <clears throat> now i think they should i think look i think they I should. Know, psychic has become a very dirty word um <laughs> I'm in the psychic industry though. Sometimes things that aren't, can't be explained can make sense. You know what I mean? So it's like the fact that they investigated it enough to see, was there something weird going on in that foundation? And they found that there were, and there were three places. I can't believe, I mean, I know it'd be expensive and you know, you go, you know, it's a massive project. It is, but they, I mean, like, not only because of those three things they found, you know, the anomalies, but also, okay, okay, so I'm looking at them, I'm doing them, looking at the map, right, and I'm, I'm looking at these, these addresses, and I'll, I'll be honest, I don't know which fucking Cox Hospital it is, there are two, it appears, in, in Springfield, there's a, there is a, a Cox South Hospital, a Cox North Hospital, now, the only thing the psychic said was that it was at the South parking garage at the hospital. Not that it was Cox South, right? But just that the South parking garage. So I don't really know which fucking hospital it was at, the North one or the South one. Honestly, mm -hmm. it doesn't really matter. They should check either, either whichever one it is, they should look. Because <clears throat> when I mapped this, this line right here, this like wedge line, this is the Saturn line um, in the um, in the missing chart. Saturn mm -hmm. was at 18 degrees uh, Aquarius. And then the eighth house cusp was at like 20 degrees Aquarius. So I, I mapped this wedge. This, sorry, I know it's real blue. I wish it wasn't that way. This is where that, this is where that hospital is. Look at how fucking close that is to this line. Yeah. <laughs> And it could be right in there. It could be that the friend came over at like, I don't know, I'm just throwing on number 857 or 905. Or... 915 changes things. 915, 915, 920 would put this right in that wedge. Being that they say 9 a.m., you know, it's estimate or rounded. Yes. So, yeah. I, I did I did look at that. I that there is a chart for yeah, the chart for like 915, 920 would put this fucker right in the wedge. Yeah. Now the other thing, that's the North Hospital. This is the South one down here. This one is right on the IC line, like literally right on it. A bearing of 194 degrees. That IC in that missing chart is um is 14 degrees Libra. Mm. 94 degrees. They need to check. I don't I don't fucking care which hospital it is, which one, north or south. I don't give a shit. They should check. I'm it. sure they know. I'm sure they have it in their records which one they found those anomalies yes. at. Well, here's yeah, the which thing too that I think supports that theory. 
the fact, well, a couple things. Well, the 2 a.m. chart being ruled by Pisces. Pisces rules hospitals. Yeah. Yes, that makes sense. That makes sense. Yeah. And, and I think Saturn could even be used as a hospital type thing. Let's see. Could be. I, I could I could see that. Um, I was also thinking like Aquarius, like we were talking before, like I think of like Aquarius. Aquarius is very, you know, futuristic technology. Mm -hmm. right where do you find yeah. a lot of that you can find a lot of that in hospitals there is like a <laughs> there is something I mean I know I know Virgo tends to be more like the the health stuff but mm -hmm. I think of Virgo as more like um like regular doctor's offices if I were going that way with like medical shit I would think of Aquarius as more like the actual tech the actual um I don't know with that sure. Saturn and Aquarius I don't know yeah I think that the hospital is definitely worth, worth looking into. I think so too. Um, absolutely. For sure. <laughs> I don't <laughs> because, think they will though. No, I, I don't, I don't think they will, but they should, they should, but I don't, I, I don't think they will. But it they also should. seems very, just from what I know, and I don't want to say a whole lot, but like motorcycle gangs, that just seems like a method that could be used you you mean you mean to keep somebody quiet or to keep things from happening oh just like doing away with with a, a body oh yeah like under concrete under where they know construction I, and ooh, i don't know if i'm did i read that who was it that was linked around the construction of that garage as well then wasn't that pulled into play someone oh fuck Okay, there's a lot, but I swear. No, there, there, no you might be right thing. about that. You might be. I can't remember, but I think you're. I, I think you are. There is a lot. There is yeah. a lot to this. Um, you might be right about that, though. Um, but I can't remember who. <laughs> yeah, someone around something <laughs> was in construction around this. Um, but yeah. But I think <clears throat> either of these, like either whichever one it is I think it should be explored for sure but like I, I don't think they will but I think they should um I don't think they will just because it's expensive mm -hmm. yeah and I you know <laughs> also you know it, because of where it where it where it came from I mean like I've called police stations before to uh, not 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 like as like as a psychic but as an astrologer I called I called the Austin Police Department before because I thought I wanted them to look for somebody somewhere and I I I I got met with it was essentially what the fuck do you do and why the fuck are you calling like they didn't say yeah. that but it, it that was essentially the and I'm like okay never mind bye yeah <laughs> you know yeah so they they don't anything like that I don't I, there might be some police departments that do take it seriously but I not anywhere near where we live <laughs> <laughs> I've had my experience with some police as well and connections and people found exactly where some maps were drawn out with the astrology and they yeah they're not real open open to it <laughs> no yeah Unfortunately, this is a great tool. Forensic astrology is a wonderful tool, especially in a missing person's case when, yeah, maybe you can't use it for a crime, use it as evidence in court, but if someone's missing, why not utilize it? Why not try it? Yeah. Yeah. What, yeah. I mean, it's that. Yeah. I mean, yeah, it's yeah. I, yeah, <laughs> I agree. Yeah. They need to be checking those, those, those fucking wherever, whichever, whichever parking garage it is, whatever hospital they need to be that's really where it, that seems like I was texting you about I was like this is fucking hot like <laughs> it's frustrating um just side story like we had someone in my neighborhood about a year ago I think um she went missing and was presumed dead and of course you know I know not to contact police because uh, like our stories say but I had it mapped out she was found on the ascendant line <laughs> or you know I was like it's like I knew where, <laughs> yeah, yeah. So I mean, yeah. Some it, it doesn't always work out the way, but a lot of times it does. It's it's a helpful tool. Yeah, it is. Um, do you have any other 
thoughts on any of this? Um, uh, okay, well, I mean, this case is older. Should we, I don't know. Are there Not any, so are there, the there are like so many, I mean, there's so many possible suspects. Are there any that like, I don't know, really, really stand out to you? Um, you know, there doesn't seem to be a whole lot that pops up around Stacy, like, hey, there was this person that was weird or, you know, so she seems like, um, at the wrong place at the wrong time. Yeah. You know, if we were to look at who's targeted, it really leaves the other two. It, it seems very personal because yeah, there's no robbery. There's, there's no possessions missing. Um, car keys were there, jewelry, money, um, purses, you know, so, there, you know, something had to have happened to them because someone had some sort of issue or some sort of thing to settle. You know, we don't know the mom was private. We don't know what kind of people, was she hanging around someone? I don't know. We do know it was Susie that she was involved in legal stuff against an ex-boyfriend. So yeah, she had given us a, a statement to police and was, yeah, supposed to testify. So, or perhaps maybe would have, would have testified. Yeah. As, and yeah. I'm not saying any specific person did this, but I am saying like, that's kind of weird. There, there's some it is weird. Definite, um, shady things going on that she's, you know, probably didn't want to be involved with, but was, and um, that's, maybe where I think more focus should be on that. Yeah. What's your thoughts? I'm on the fence. <laughs> I, I definitely agree with you about, about Stacy. Stacy does not appear to be the target here. Um, or cause I mean, she didn't even like, also I read something and I could be wrong about this. I, so if, I, if, I, if somebody knows I'm wrong about this, you can correct me, but, um, that she, uh, she and Susie, while they were like good friends, I don't think that they had hung out in a while or something. So it really does kind of seem like by rant, like she does, it does, yeah, she, it just to me does not appear like she was the, she was the target at all. Um, she right, just, they had kind of grown apart and just recently started reconnecting. Yeah. Because they kind of hung with different crowds from what I understand. Yes, yes. Yeah. <clears throat> so yeah. So uh, I, I, I definitely don't think she had, she would, she just, it feels like it's very unfortunate that she happened to, to be there. Um, I can totally see how it, it, how, how, how Susie could have been the target for sure. Especially with the stuff with the, with the, with the boyfriend and, and his friend and having the ties to the motorcycle gang. And that seems very possible, totally possible. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah, you know, the fact that they weren't supposed to stay the night there. That, maybe that, this, that lends some theories to maybe the mom. That maybe. that's that that's kind of what I keep going. Cause like they were first, they were gonna go to they were gonna stay in Branson, the two girls. They were gonna stay in Branson. Then mm -hmm. they decided not to do that. Then they decided then they were gonna spend the night at their friend's house. And then there were too many people there, so they decided not to do that. So it's like <clears throat> unless somebody was tailing their ass all night, which I guess could be could be the case. Because there were things that kind of showed like like watching, you know, voyeuristic shit. Um, which is so it's possible. But it does it it does seem likely though that the mom could have could have been too. Mm -hmm. Why exactly? I I don't know. Um, because they're like like you said, you know, she's private. There what there's not a whole whole lot. She she did seem to be well liked in the community though. Um, you know, there, I couldn't the things that I did find, the few things that I did find, I didn't see anything that jumped out like with, and again, there's no victim blaming here, but jumped out like with Susie and the association with the, with the ex-boyfriend, you know, I didn't see anything like that in her, in her mom's, you know. Yeah, the, the 1115 chart, there's some things going on in it, but it's not, what do I want to say? The 2 a.m. chart seemed to have a lot of things going on. Yeah, that's oh. when the ball was like. Yeah. Yeah. Um, should I ask you, uh, 
I mean, personally, when I look at the charts, I think they probably are not alive. Now, that doesn't mean you don't hold out hope and keep looking. You know, I, I would be sensitive about that. But these charts are there. There are some pretty strong things going on that would um, make me think that maybe they're not alive. Oh, yeah, I don't. Yeah, <clears throat> I don't. I don't think that they that they are. Um, I don't like saying that either. Like, that's. But I think I, I don't. I don't think that they are and I they need to look in these places <laughs> they do. but I what don't, I don't I, like is the sun and moon being at the bottom of the charts yeah um not not a great testimony um that they'll be found doesn't mean it won't happen but at least for a long time maybe I, 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 yeah, no, I, I, I agree. And I don't like to agree with that. I don't like to, <laughs> yeah. um, but yeah, I, I, yeah, I'm on the Just same page. My final thoughts about it. Yeah. Well, I'm going to go ahead and stop the sharing of this. Cause it's like, and I don't know why it's so fucking blue either. Like, can anybody That's even see that. this shit? I can see it for some reason when you hover on scribble maps, it like highlights. <laughs> it's like very it's like very blue i'm like why the fuck i don't know like anyway. i'm not trying to talk bad about scribble maps because it's a great mapping system but it really is and it's really I, I, it, yeah i it's say cool. a lot of bad words when i use it though like it I, it kills my enlightenment <laughs> yeah you should hear me out here when i'm using it. i'm like motherfucker <laughs> <laughs> you know out of a bitch yes but it can be, but it, but it is such a cool idea such a cool tool it is but it's like i wish you were more user friendly yeah but well do you want to share where you can be found sure brandy burrow astrology.com and on youtube and instagram at brandy burrow astrology and ellie where can you be found you can find me at Saturn Season Astrology on Instagram. Let's F with Astrology on YouTube and SaturnSeason.com, which is my website. Yeah. And if you guys have a, a loved one or someone you're closely connected to that's missing or died under mysterious circumstances, and you'd like us to look at the astrology, um, not for video, but privately, get a hold of us. Yes. Yeah. I'll put the, um, we can put the email, like our emails too, in the description box if you want to reach out or, or whatever yes and, and most so. importantly like and subscribe to ellie's channel and if you find it in your heart go over to my channel and do the same <laughs> yeah yes like and subscribe to both leave comments uh if you if you have information about the case that we didn't we didn't bring in for because i mean this case is this is old it's there's a lot of there's a lot there's a lot yeah, yeah if there's if there's anything though that i don't know if you're like a springfield native and you 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 lived there at the time if they're you know whatever i We'd love to hear any any thoughts and, and just in general any thoughts that anybody may have. The sun is doing some wonky ass shit all of a sudden. Um, <laughs> but yeah, <of> sunshine. <laughs> <laughs> but Jesus. But uh, but but let us but let us know um, thoughts, comments, all that stuff. And um, I guess until next time. Thanks, Ellie. <laughs> Thank you for being here. <laughs> Bye.